Hello, let's compare two of the greatest game engines in the world Unreal Engine 5.4 which is already here and Unity 6 which is coming this year Okay, we're not comparing two of the greatest game engines in the world. That's not that simple. But we are just talking about the differences they have so that you can choose the right one for learning or using your project. So let's compare them according to their performance, which one is easy to use, which one uses which programming language, and about high quality, lighting, and everything which is important for a game. So in this video you'll understand all the differences between these two engines and that way you can choose the right one for your next project or your career. Let's talk about it. So the first thing we want to compare between these two engines is graphics. Well, Unreal Engine is known for its high-end graphics capability, especially with the introduction of features like uh, Nanite virtualized geometry and Lumion real-time global illumination which provide photorealistic visuals. But what about uh, Unity? While Unity can achieve impressive graphics, uh, it generally requires more optimization and effort to match the level of fidelity offered by Unreal Engine 5. So that's why in graphics, Unreal Engine wins. And what about ease of use? Like which one is easy to use uh, first, let's say uh, Unity. Well, Unity is considered more beginner friendly with a simpler interface and a larger focus on 2D game development. But what about Unreal Engine? Well, it's a little difficult to learn and it's not that much beginner friendly like Unity, but still, it is uh, easy to learn uh, because of its huge documentation and tutorials you can find online. But at the end, we can say Unity is much easier than Unreal Engine. And the third thing would be about programming language. Well, Unity uses C Sharp for scripting, which is generally regarded as easier to learn and more straightforward for beginners. But Unreal Engine uses one of the most powerful and complicated programming languages out there. C++, which is more powerful but also more complex and difficult to master. But you don't need to worry about that because I have perfect courses for these you can learn and find the link down there. And the fourth one is Blueprint System. Well, Unreal Engine uh, features the Blueprint Visual Scripting System, allowing developers to create game logic without writing any code, making it accessible for non-programmers. That is amazing. But what about Unity? Well, it doesn't have a direct equivalent to Blueprints, uh, relying instead on visual scripting tools like Bolt, which are third-party add-ons rather than the built-in features. Well, again, Unreal Engine wins. So now let's talk about Asset Store and Marketplaces. Well, Unity has a vast asset store offering a wide range of ready-made assets, tools, and plugins to help speed up development. But Unreal Engine provides the Unreal Marketplace, which also offers a variety of assets, but is particularly noted for high-quality assets suitable for AAA or AAA games. Okay, so in this case, I think Unreal Engine wins because, like, if you're searching for more realistic things, for more realistic assets, then Unreal Marketplace is the best option. But still, you can find a lot of assets in Unity in Marketplace as well, which is good. And sixth, community support. Community and support. Well, here again, Unity has a large and active community with extensive forums, documentation, and a wealth of tutorials available online. And the Real Engine 5 also has a strong community with a focus on high end game development and extensive support from Epic Games, including regular updates and a rich array of learning resources. But still, Unity wins this because they have more active community and is easy to learn and has more tutorials online. But still, if you're interested in learning and religion, you can find my courses down there, which will make it pretty simple for you to learn it. Seven, platform support. Well, Unity is known for its flexibility and supports a wide range of platforms, 
including mobile, console, desktop, AR and VR and Web, which is great. But Unreal Engine also supports multiple platforms, but it is particularly strong in high-end consoles and PC game development. So if you're interested in mobile development or you want to develop games for AR and VR, and you don't care about high quality and realistic too much, then Unity still is the winner. Uh, but if you're looking for high graphics and realistic games and you're developing it for a PC or high-end consoles, then Unreal Engine is again the best option for you. 8. Performance Optimization Okay, Unity requires more manual optimization, especially for high-performance applications, but Unreal Engine offers advanced optimization tools and features like Nanite and Lumion that help manage performance automatically. That is great. For performance, again, Unreal Engine can win this because, you know, Unreal Engine uses C++. Uh, C++ is good for high performance and Unreal Engine also has this Nanite and Lumion features which were added to Unreal Engine 5. Oh, those are just crazy. Like, you can use high quality maps and assets with very good performance because they will manage performance automatically for you. Ninth, license and cost. Well, Unity offers a free tier, uh, Unity Personal uh, with revenue caps and that things, and paid tiers as well, Unity Plus and Pro and Enterprise, which are based on revenue or funding. But Unreal Engine is free for everyone with a reality model. Uh, where developers pay only 5% realities and gross revenue above $1 million per product, which is great. Like, uh, you can use Unreal Engine for anything you want for free, as long as you have $1 million uh, income from that specific product. That time, you need to pay only 5% of your income. That's it. And then uh, we have integration with external tools. Well, Unity is known for its seamless integration with various external tools and services, including cloud-based services, analytics, and third-party SDKs. But Unreal Engine 5 also this supports integration with external tools with a strong focus on compatibility with industry standard softwares like Autodesk, Maya, and 3ds Max. But still, in this case, I think Unity wins. So we had 10 cases, and in first case, graphics quality, and Unreal Engine wins it easily. Second, easy to use, well, Unity wins that one. Programming language, you have two options, or you need a easy one, or you need the power. If you need easy one, then Unity wins. If you need the power, then Unreal Engine wins. And blueprint system, well, no doubt, Unreal Engine wins. Asset store with marketplace, again, if you need high quality, then Unreal Engine wins this one. Community and support, no doubt, Unity wins that one. Platform support, again, if you're a mobile or AR, VR or whip, then Unity wins that one. But high quality, Unreal Engine is there for you. Performance optimization. Unreal Engine wins that one, pretty simple. And license and cost, I think Unreal Engine wins again. Integration with external tools, I think the winner is Unity. So at all, the final result, Unreal Engine wins for its high performance, for its high quality and free to use and providing blueprint scripting. Unreal Engine is the winner of this comparison. But still, it's up to you. What is more important for you? If you're looking for easy to use, easy to learn, and good uh, community support, or if you're developing games for mobile, then you will choose Unity. So here, again, we cannot compare these two engines, like they are big engines uh, in the world. We cannot compare them that simple and announce a winner that simple. It's up to you. What do you think? What you prefer? And what is your field? 
and that time you can simply choose what is better for you so as you know unity 6 would be here and they announced some pretty cool news uh, let's uh, talk about what is new in unity 6 and that might change your mind about choosing engine so in unity 6 uh, it would be released in this year which has some new features First, performance enhancement. This is uh, there would be significant performance improvement in universal render pipeline and high definition render pipeline, including up to 50% CPU frame time reduction for complex scenes and better rendering efficiency across platform, which is great. And then uh, this is advanced rendering features. They believe they will add some advanced rendering features to Unity 6 and render graph for urp uh, that's a new rendering framework and api render graph which improves rendering efficiency simplifies pipeline maintenance and introduce key optimizations like um, reduced memory bandwidth usage which is just amazing and then this is uh, lighting and visual enhancements are there updates to adoptive prob volume or APV for better global illumination, new sky and water rendering improvements in HDRP, and enhanced volumetric fog for underwater environments. So that means they have some new features for lighting as well, like these uh, prop volumes and volumetric fog, and there is some new features for water and sky. That's great. And then uh, next one, multi-platform and web improvements. Well, this is, uh, I think, my favorite one. Uh, they said there would be new build profile features, Android and iOS browser support, and early access uh, to the web GPU backend for modern web-based graphics acceleration. Whoa, my God, that is great. And I think Unreal Engine should do the same thing because we really need it and then uh, there is multiplayer development tools introduction of experimental multiplayer center so multiplayer play mode for testing multiplayer functionality within the unity editor and distributed authority mode for netcode for game objects to distribute simulation workload across clients so that's also good news now inside unity checking or testing this multiplayer features that's good and we can see the most important one of them is ai integration with unity scientists uh, so this is enhancements to the unity scientists neural engine including model weight quantization for smaller ai models improved scheduling speed and easier integration with hugging phase for finding and using ai models so we have a lot of new features in unity 6 so now you have some more options that you can prefer unity 6 but remember we don't have an idea when unreal engine 6 will come and with which features but unreal engine 5.4 was there with some great updates in animation and modeling tools which are kind of great uh, i'll make another video for that because this video is getting longer and i will introduce unreal engine 5.4 features in the next video you can find it down there uh, if i already made it so now you know which engine you have to choose that's up to you which one you choose but if you choose Unreal Engine and you need to learn it, you can find my courses down there. And I will always be here to help you. Hey, I'm so excited and I hope it helped you understand the differences. And now you have choose your favorite engine to learn. So if you have chosen Unreal Engine and you're curious about learning it, well, I think I can help you in that because I've made some great courses for absolute beginners, for intermediate and for advanced students. And I'm pretty sure those courses can help you learn Unreal Engine right from the beginning. And anytime you need help, I'm always here to help. So that's all about this video. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you liked it, you can like it down there and you can write something in the comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.